Okay, we're live. Oh, Welcome awesome. everybody to the community track. I'm George, and this is Super Matt. Um, <laughs> Matt's been doing some some preliminary investigations into Google's new service called Google Helpouts, mm -hmm. um, and has been learning a bunch about it. And I I took a quick glance, and I said I have no idea how this works, but <laughs> somebody else has. You should come tell the community about it. So I asked Matt to to come on to tell us about it. Is it a is it something that we should look at using at Ubuntu? What are its limitations? Uh, is it fun to use? Is it easy? Things of that nature. So, sure. Um, Matt, why don't why don't you start off with telling us what Google Helpouts is? I'm assuming it's something like Google Hangouts, but oh, it's it's an awful lot like Google Hangouts. If you've used Google Hangouts then uh, you are already aware of how the interface works. Uh, okay. it's, exactly, it's exactly the same. The only difference is, really, is they've got this kind of wrapper at the front, which is uh, a scheduler, basically. And that's, mm. that's the key difference between Hangouts and Helpouts, is that, okay. that wrapping functionality. OK, um, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm sharing the video. Just give me a okay. second here. I'm sharing the video of this session to people who, who want sure, to watch. Sure, sure. OK, so, so you've done these Hangouts before. Yeah, so I've, 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 I think I've done about 20 or so since it went live on the 25th, which okay. was oh, actually a month ago. Um, okay. I, I would have liked to love to have done more, uh, but just squeezing it into my schedule hasn't been quite as easy as I would have hoped. Um, but yeah, I've been doing some and having an amazing time doing it. Uh, the amount of people that I've met uh, from all different places. I've been speaking to people from Dubai, Spain, uh, America. I think I had a Mexican guy on before as well, and uh -huh. some Indian people as well. So just absolutely all over the world, and it's a wonderful thing to, to do. Uh -huh. So I see some of the, so uh, I just searched for Ubuntu in helpouts.google.com. Yeah. There's like, uh, do these have to be charged? Because I see one guy's charging twenty five cents a minute. One guy. No, you, okay, so you don't you don't have to charge at all. Okay. Um, but there is a benefit to charging. Unfortunately, you okay. Know, my decision was not to charge, uh, based on the fact that I've managed to get so much help from people for free, mm -hmm. um, and I've got the operating system for free and all of this. Mm -hmm. My my belief was that I should give back for free. The okay. downside of, of doing it for free is that there's a lot of no-shows. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so um, there have been a, a few times so far where I've stayed up until quite late waiting for someone to come on, and they haven't shown up at all. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to deal with that. The alternative is, is you, do, you do charge, uh, and that reduces the number of no-shows that you get. I've been speaking to a lot of people in the there's a there's a help outs community, people who use uh, help who are doing lots of help outs themselves, um, and they say that when they when they charge the number of uh, no shows just fell through the floor. Okay. Um, okay. So it's an option. Right. And there's a cancellation fee. Uh, you, well, you can set if you want to t take a cancellation fee, um, or you can not not charge anyone if they don't show it, really. Yeah, and it seems like, for example, this one is uh, 25 cents a minute, which yep. is very affordable, I would say, but enough sure. to make people sh not, not it, bail on you. It seems affordable, um, but then the, the, I, I started doing the math in my head, and, and I realized that if you're doing 25 cents a minute, well, a lot of my sessions have gone half an hour and beyond. Right. So then Starts really, really ran, you know, scaling up quite quickly. So you know, that's seven and a half dollars for for half an hour, I think, if my if I done my head maths right. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, if you don't show up, then that's half of that seven and a half, which would be uh, three seven five. You know, so um, it can become quite expensive. So there is a, a, a balancing act between how much you charge um, for your sessions and how much you want people to waste your time. And it's not easy. I haven't managed to figure it out yet. I'm, I'm toying with the idea of running two, like a, a, a free session 
for when I am already available. So I'm just sitting at my desk. I just kind of, you can toggle on this thing which is called available now. Mm -hmm. And you can specify which sessions you are available now for. So okay. if you were to run a free session and a paid for session, you could toggle, I'm available now for my free stuff. Or you could um, turn that off and you could just have paid for sessions only. Mm -hmm. Is there, as far as you can see, is there integration with the existing Google properties? So, in what sense? Like, uh, like we have a Google group in Google Plus that has like a hundred thousand people in it. Um, sure. But Good there, question. There, there, I can't seem to find a way that's like you know. I don't. I don't think there sponsoring is sponsoring the following hangouts or help out. Yeah. No, there isn't. What you can do is they've. Um, I just got an email actually this morning saying, oh, by the way, you can put this little um, button on your site to link people to your help outs. Right. That's it. Um, but they do suggest that you do have a, a Google Plus group, and they do suggest you have your own website to all go with the help outs. Okay. Um, but there's no direct integration as far as I can see. Okay. And that's something that will probably change over time. I mean, oh, just... it probably will. There's, yeah. there's there's lots of changes I am sure that are going to come. For instance, um, one of the I I actually spoke with someone from Google. At least they responded to one of my messages saying that um, they're looking for a way of uh, repaying Hangouts uh, members, Helpouts members, sorry, mm -hmm. for no showers that are for free uh, sessions. So they're working on that. Um, and so there's there's a there's a good help outs community mm -hmm. of help out uh, help outers if you see what I mean People yeah, help, yeah help outers so uh, yeah there's a good community there um, and it's quite 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 strong so I placed posted the message and I was getting quite a lot of replies very very quickly okay there's a very very big amount of support at the back of it hmm. do you do you know any of these other Ubuntu help out people? No, um, okay. I don't actually. Or well, at least I don't think I do because I've not really looked. But uh, none of my friends have <laughs> seemed yeah. seemed convinced by doing it. Um, there is a, another guy on the IRC channel who who's signed up for a um, for a Google Helpouts code, and when he gets his code, he'll then be able to join me. So I I kind of put his name on my website and said, so you can contact either one of us. Okay. Um, so we're trying to. I'm trying to create a kind of like a little circle of of Ubuntu help out people. Yeah, because it seems to me that it'd be great to to grab these other guys. I just searched Ubuntu and help out. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I know it would be a very very good idea, but I think there's you've got to kind of set a, the groundwork. I think first. Yeah. Uh, just deciding how much you're going to charge, you know, and when you're going to do free stuff and and all of this. Yeah. Because it seems to me like. You'd want the person who's volunteering to be able, like, I don't think we should say, if you want to do a Google Help Out yet, you have to make it free. I think that will be... No, no, I, I don't think anyone should say that, but I think, yeah. you, I think you've got to try and make it fair. Yeah. yeah that, that's for certain. Yeah. And I think, I think it's just one of those things that what the market will bear, right? Like, let's yeah. say another guy just happens to do a way better job than you, and he wants to charge more. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, so it, it, it will definitely definitely change based on market tactics. And, right. And yeah, some people will do better. And I think you'll find that as more and more people give you five stars, for instance, for your help out, I think right. more and more people will start coming to you, even if you're doing a free one or you're doing a paid for one. Right, um, right. Yeah. Or I imagine people wanting to do free intros. Right. Yes. Yeah. So that's one of the things that they suggested was you do like uh, you set your your availability for the, your free one and just say right I'm available now and I'll do a five minute intro. Mm -hmm. uh, but then after this you have to go for a paid session. Right. Exactly. So there's quite a lot of flexibility. The only problem is is when you change when you want to change your listing or add new listing it has to be reviewed by Google themselves. Okay. So there, there's actually a, quite a long period of um, waiting around, unfortunately, with the start of your help out. Um, and it looks like reviewed, uh, if you're changing your, your, your help out, uh, just like a few bits of details like the website detail or something like that, um, then you might get, that might get updated after a couple of days. Okay. Um, once you've reviewed it. But if you 
I've put in a new one, and I think I put it in a week and a half ago now, uh -huh. and it still hasn't been approved. Okay. So there is this very slow process, but I think that's probably slow because there's a lot of people trying to sign up for Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm sure the, over time they'll get better at automating that. And stuff. Sure, well, in, in a few months' time, I'm sure that actually the number of people signing up will reduce quite drastically, so they'll then get on top of the, of the process anyway. Right, right. So there is that barrier to entry, and you have to wait for your, your invite code as well. Um, right, you, right. You can't okay. just sign up and go. So this is clearly something that is, uh, right, something that we should look at doing in the future and just keeping an eye, eye on it. Because I get the feeling once they connect these to your Google Plus communities, yeah. right, you know, I, I just envision in your little Google Plus community in the side, they'll be like, you know, 10 people are available to give you a help out. Yeah, that, I think that would be a great thing to, to look out for, definitely. Right, As, right. Especially if people who are just sitting at their desk for the afternoon just go, right, okay, I'm available now. And yeah. you just have people people come to you. I mean, um, a, a, a couple of weeks ago, I set my, my availability to on and I had at one point three people queued up waiting to speak to me. Oh wow! Um, yeah, and and I hadn't at that point. Uh, Google hadn't really indexed my site that much, and I hadn't mm. got my Facebook groups and my Google Plus group set up. Uh, people were just really wanting just to ask some, sometimes some very simple questions, sometimes some very difficult questions. Uh -huh. But to have three people queued up, I, that put a massive smile on my face. Yeah, like, oh, that's just people. That's people just... want to talk to me. This is great. <laughs> that's the uh, tip of the iceberg, man. If you think. Yeah. About it. Yeah, so yeah, if it, if it could uh, integrate with Google Groups and um, if I, you know, it would be nice and simple for me to go onto the, the Help Outs page and just kind of go, oh, by the way, have you thought about doing this? I, yeah. I imagine it probably wouldn't be too long before before that lands. I'm do not you have, Do you have kind of a uh, best practices? Have you been writing down what to do, what not to do kind of thing? Uh, I haven't, no, but I kind of, I've come from... A lot of support in my in my professional background, so okay. I've done lots of desktop support and, and all this. So I generally know the do's and don'ts. Okay. But don't do anything that would destroy someone's data, or if if the only answer to to fixing something is. Oh 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 no! I meant as I meant as far as actually using using the tool itself. Oh. Uh, how it works, or. Well, uh, there's not really much to say. To, to expand on how it works, it's working just exactly as, as we're working now, okay, um, okay. just through Hangouts. Um, it's got a remote desktop facility, which is great, so okay. I try and take remote control a lot. It's got a, a chat sidebar, so a lot of people actually turn up without a webcam or mic, okay, um, okay. and you just end up sitting there just typing the help out to people. But sometimes you get face-to-face, -face and uh, you can have some great conversations that way. Okay, and how does how does it work as far as? Oh, I see. People people rate you by reviews, right? So yeah, exactly. Yeah, nothing but one stars. You'd be like, hey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of the session, uh, before the window closes, it actually pops up and says, "How would you rate this person?" Or at least uh -huh. I assume that's what it says because I never really see it. Okay, you know, they see it, not you. Okay. But, it, uh, but then I also get a pop up saying, you know, was that good? Yes or no? You know, and if someone if I close the window when someone hasn't turned up, it will say, why did they not show up, and all this kind of stuff. Right, okay, I see. So I try and leave as much feedback as I can. Um, okay. So yeah. as far as quality goes, I mean, if you're browsing through these, you just look through ratings just like you would an application for your computer. Exactly, exactly. The, and um, what uh, Google made it clear, because in, um, in the kind of lead up to the help out starting, I had a couple of... Uh, hangouts with Google themselves, a couple of people from Google, and they oh, wanted okay. to know what my experience was um, with Linux and with helping people. Uh -huh. um, so I just said, well, I've got my RHCSA, and I've done lots of support in my life. Um, and so they went, all right, okay, great. What you need to do is if you write this down in, in your little description box... Um, oh, kind of your credentials. You. Yeah. yeah. So people who have got more credentials written down seem to get... Uh, the, the most hits, basically. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Just like you would if you were going to a conference and you were looking at the speakers, right? Kind sure, of. 
Exactly. Yeah, you you want to you want to see the people who've got the, the best credentials. You were asking about best practice. I just remembered something. Um, so what you do is uh, when you uh, you can set your availability for some time in the future. So I could say, well, I'm going to be available from eight o'clock tonight, for instance. Okay. If someone signs up for a slot at eight o'clock uh, or, or whatever, um, you can then start messaging the person. Um, just a text message, you know, regular text chat. Uh -huh. um, and what good practice is, what I've been doing is when someone requests a session with me, is I message them as soon as I can and just say, hi, could you let me know what it is you're looking for out of this session so yeah, I can yeah. tailor it to fit you. Right. So I had some guy say, oh, I'm trying to build a Minecraft server. So I went off and studied a little bit of Minecraft, how it works. Right. I've played this a couple of times. Someone said, oh, I'm just trying to in install it for the first time. Can you give me some hints? Uh -huh. So I just went through that. So sometimes you don't even need to go into the Hangout uh, itself because you might be able to give them the help they need over the over the text chat. OK. Yeah. Are Hangouts only one-to-one, -one, or are they one-to-many? They are only one-to-one. -one. Okay. So it's not like uh, Hangouts in, in this sense where you can have multiple people. It's, right. it's, a, it's pure one-to-one, -one, and that's the idea of help out in general, is that face-to-face -face help rather than what you get with websites where it's written in a way that s someone will write their tutorials in a way they understand. Exactly. But some people will understand it, some people won't. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, so like, for example, with Juju, we do one-to-many sessions. But sure. we also do we also do get requests for, you know, can you run a Hangout for... Or can you run a school for for us? But sometimes yeah. it's not one individual; it might be five people on the one end yeah. of a camera. Well, unfortunately, that's not something that. Well, you can't have multiple end right. users, but you could. I'm sure you could do a help help out with one camera and multiple people. That wouldn't be wouldn't be a problem at all. Right. Very interesting. Any any other any deal breaker limitations that you can think of? Like, is there anything that's just totally I, I would say for, um, for for Canonical, say, um, looking to use this as as a kind of a more permanent tool, it's 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 that lead in time at the beginning, right? Of having to wait a, a long time to get your invite code, to then have your uh, your stuff reviewed, etc. Having said that, though, I'm sure that Google probably will have some people who are trying to organize. Maybe like companies who want to do help out. So like like right. canonical. So you could say, well, here's another canonical member. Can you just please pre-approve them? I'm not sure if that if that can happen, but I would be very surprised if it doesn't. Yeah, and to me, well, to me, like I don't really know what anyone at at, at canonical will be interested in this. To me, mm. I think it's more about uh, enable anybody in Ubuntu who wants to participate. Yeah. So uh, to it kind of. You know, uh, at the project level, to say, "Hey, here are the other five people yeah. that are investigating Google Hangouts with Ubuntu, and then they they hang out with you, right? Mm -hmm. And then like they know, you know, to kind of give give them a place to go, you know, ensure yeah. that the quality is high, right? Like if right. I imagine, right, someone at a user group saying, you know, I, I was having a problem, and I went to the help outs team, mm -hmm. right? You know, and if if it's something that we're gonna put the Ubuntu logo on kind of thing, you know. Hey, yeah, you, yeah. you know, you know, assuming say in a year from now or something when the feature, you know, all the features land and stuff, and it becomes something that people are really interested in, mm -hmm. you know, are they getting the same kind of quality that they're getting anywhere else? But it seems like, you know, the the financials I think make it like. I don't anticipate someone just like messing with people on the internet with Google help outs, you know, like well, pulling a prank, you know. They're, 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 oh, they're, they're, for Ubuntu lessons, I'm really gonna, you know. There have been there have been some pranks, not not to me fortunately, but I was reading right. in the help outs community on Google, right. on Google Plus, and and someone did say that there was a chat roulette style antics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not not from the helpers, but from the people requesting help. Yeah. Um, and there is, you know, there is the report button, so that's not too much of a problem, I guess. Okay. okay. Um, and you you won't get that if you have a paid session. 
Right, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I, I've been tinkering in my mind uh, with the idea of running a paid session uh, uh, whereby I actually pay the money back at the end of the session yeah. if they turn up. And if they don't turn up, then I, I keep the, the cut that I'm supposed to take. Yeah. It's free unless you don't show up. Then I take your yeah. money. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure there's an economist somewhere that's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, so you're an Ubuntu member already. Actually, no, I'm not. Oh, you're not. You should apply. I know, so I know. Because I, mean, I, mean, I, I think what we should do is over the next six months, as you do these, yep. right, get you on Planet and just kind of, hey, guys, you know, I did a session, and this is what happened. See, sure. see what kind of interest people have. All right. Um, because I think the idea is cool. Um, That's a very cool idea, yeah. And I think also when I, I – as as we're talking in my mind, I'm debating whether I would want to do these or not. <laughs> but you I know, the, the bonus the bonus thing is, is that they're already online, which means you probably don't have to deal with wireless Broadcom issues. So yeah. that already like totally <laughs> is like awesome. <laughs> well, actually, I, a surprising number of people have got a have got like a laptop and a desktop, and so oh, they're okay. going, oh, I've, I've got it over here, and I'm trying to do this. So um, there is no escape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here are the things I will not be supporting in my, in my <laughs> Definitely <house>. not Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Just plug in the network cable. We'll go from there. Yeah. So it, it, it's very interesting what people want supporting. And, and there's, there's things that um, I'm not even too sure about. See, now I've got an NVIDIA card, so I know what to do to get people to up yep. and running and, and get their graphics running nicely. But right. if you, someone comes to me with a, a, a Radeon problem, I have not got a clue. Right. I mean, I can tell you to install FGLRX, but I, I you know. Right, and that's why I think moving forward, I think it's important to build a group of people around there so yes. you know where the Radeon guy is or the NVIDIA guy. Or exactly, and it would be interesting to uh, compile a list of what people's certain skills are. Right, right. Yeah. And I, th I think moving forward, too, especially since you're going to be getting data on what people are asking on help, right? Mm -hmm. if, if it ends up being, hey, it's been six months, and people keep asking me for sessions on how to use a software center, we know yeah. that we can run, you know, it, it's it's more efficient for the community to say, hey, guys, maybe we should make one classroom software center video that sure. we can use. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you something that um, has been actually mostly very, very helpful from through uh, my help outs has actually been help.ubuntu.com. Okay. Because the thing is, is uh, what people are looking for is less about the answers, the distinct answers. It's more about the assurance that what they're going to do isn't going to destroy. So when people are installing for the first time, right. um, I mean, they, they keep, people keep coming to me and saying, How, what, what do I do to install? And I say, well, first of all, get into your BIOS and make sure you turn off Secure Boot, um, uh -huh. tweak some of the UEFI settings. But then stick in the disk. When it gets to the, in, the uh, disk layout page, just make sure you set side by side um, next to Windows so that you're not going to destroy your data. And yeah. people are just looking for that reassurance more than anything. Right, that's right. That's what I found. Okay. And, I, and I, I, I wonder if maybe that's something that, that could be done at the uh, ISO download stage, just to kind of reassure people and yeah, say, look, yeah. you can install it without trashing all your data. Just make sure you do this. Yeah. You're right. I mean, and that's... See, that's the reason I wanted to have this session. It was like, are you, yeah. are you, are you sure? Are you in Vim with users? Or are you, you know, I mean, if it ends up being that a lot of these are just, hey, you know, I have this Radeon card. Which driver am I supposed to pick? Sure. You know? It might be a useful tool for connecting people to. Yeah. To. Definitely. Yeah. Have you ever had any follow-on stuff? Like let's say. Oh yeah, so so I I've, I've got this guy who's got a Radeon problem that I'm trying to fix, and he's got okay. some problems with with G Streamer and everything, and I'm just like, at this moment I'm just thinking, right, it's, it's time to reinstall just in case, but um, yeah. shouldn't have to do that. So I want to get a hard and fast answer. Um, so I'm I'm I'm, I'm emailing back and forward. Um, yeah. So it, I think I think people like to see you face to face to start off with, but I think after a while you can just get it down to email without any problems. Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm starting to think of who I would convince to, to do these, and I just imagine <laughs> someone I doing think... a session on app get, and then just yeah. getting personal emails on, you know, 
every app get related problem instead of people, you know what people I mean? seem to get app get quite quickly actually from what I found out. So go, well, actually, that was an example, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah no, uh, I can un I can understand. You you've got to have that right mindset of, right. Um, you know, because I've done a lot of support, so I have that mindset already of don't get angry about it. It's mm -hmm. Just someone who doesn't know. Um, what the answer is, so I'm just going to take my time and try and explain everything. Because I get I get personal emails at least once one a week where mm -hmm. someone's like, "Hey, I saw your answer on Ask Ubuntu. I didn't even answer it. I just edited it or something." <laughs> they think like I, I magically know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. I was like, "No, man, yeah. I just picked the spelling on the title. Sorry." <laughs> um, no, I haven't. I've, I've only had that one guy that I've been speaking to via email. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone else. I think they've just been happy with the response I've given them and uh, just kind of nodded and walked away, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it seems like all the channels, for lack of a better word, or all the sessions, yeah. um, they're all people currently, right? So there's no Ubuntu sure. part. Can, yeah, you, I, can you use tags? Like, I'm wondering, like, let's say we have 15 people. Is there a way to the show all of their sessions? I don't. I don't think there is a way to tag. I think the okay. only way you could do it is if you were to put in specific keywords into your title. Yeah. And just tell people when you're searching for for it, for it, say official Ubuntu or something like that. Yeah. And then you might get get some kind of responses. But yeah, I, I'm getting a bunch of stuff. I just, I get two pages of stuff if I just search for Ubuntu. Yeah, it's a lot more than I thought there would be. Actually, I thought yeah. I was going to be the only one. These look really high quality too. I mean, these aren't people just mess. Doesn't look like it's people just messing around on their webcams. I mean, no, no, it's not. That that's what surprised me as well. There 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 are people on on helpouts which are who are CCNA accredited people who are giving that that kind of expertise out. It's blowing my mind seeing you know what these people are are willing to willing to help with. I think it's clever too. Like I said, I'm looking at a networking guy right now, and if yeah. you're a consultant, right? Yeah, sure. You know, doing free sessions on occasion, and then you're like, well, you know, this guy seems like a. You're already starting from a basis where you know I can see I can see people I can see where really knowledgeable people could use this yeah. as a business tool. Well, sure, yeah. I mean, you have to go through Google's. Um, vetting process. Vetting process. So the only people on there are people who know what they're talking about. Right. I mean, the, the guy I spoke, the guys I spoke to, didn't really know so much about Ubuntu itself. But uh, when I said, you know, I'm Red Hat certified, uh, they were just like, "Oh, all right then. Well, we know what that close is. Enough. So we'll, 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 we'll let this through." Yeah. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't even ask me any questions, which I thought was a bit weird. So yeah. I think you probably could get some dud people go through, but they do like to ask you about what your your accreditations are. Right. Right. So. Wow, so that, that pretty much answers all my questions. I think this is really interesting. I think it's definitely something we should keep an eye on. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll, I'll sign up for, for the membership. I think it's a couple of weeks away for the next session. Oh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I know you've been around for a while and doing stuff. I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I've, having, I've been... Having someone like you who's passionate about it. Yeah. I, I've, I've been... Actually, the only place I don't go trawling to help people out is Ask Ubuntu, because mm. because there are people there who are so much better than me. But I'm I'm always trying my best on on communities such as Reddit. Um, I'll be on the OMG Ubuntu um, uh, uh, pages as well when someone kind of goes, I'm not quite sure what this means. Can someone explain it? And I'll try and try my best. So right, yeah, right. I, I I like to kind of move around and try and find some people who are in need of help, and I like to give the help for free. Yeah, I think this is awesome. I think, I've, you know, I think having you on Planet kind of telling people, hey, you know, I help somebody with this kind of problem, right, because then anybody can reuse the video after that, right? Sure. Uh, and, and I think sure. it, it, it could, as the, as the platform evolves, I think it's especially good to get in early, right, so we know what's going on yeah. so that way, yeah. you know, I, mean, I get the feeling whenever the, Killer feature lands that allows people to connect these to like their Google Plus communities, sure. right? Which we have like 108,000 in, mm. right? You know, when that happens, by then it's too late to be like, hey, we should figure out how to use Google Help Out. By then it's like too late. You know, you missed it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to figure out with it, to be honest with you. Right, uh, right, exactly. I think it's clever that. Um, 
because I think people are using Hangouts for this anyway, and I think mm. adding that little bit of adding the vetting, right? Yeah. Adding the uh, the financial stuff around it will make it a more useful tool for people. And doing time slots as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I, I like the. I like the concept of I'm not doing anything for the next hour. Yeah, uh, that, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I think it's going to be the one. What's going to really become killer is is I think you might start seeing, for instance, in Ask Ubuntu, someone says I've got this problem, and right. you know the first answer might be, "All right, connect to my Google Help out. I'm li I'm live now." Uh -huh. you know? Can you imagine the, the user experience of that? Someone going, oh, I'm really frustrated, type yeah. my question out, and bam, you've got yeah, someone... 15 oh, minutes later, it's, it's just a video of that. Yeah, exactly. I, and that's the thing, you can actually record You can record the videos. Okay. Um, so you can record the videos, and you can um, you could then embed that into the RC Ubuntu answer if you wanted to, I guess. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lots of great features. And it'd be interesting to build up a kind of catalog of, of videos of just saying. Yeah, that's so. To me, I think that's the most interesting part, right? Being able to reuse something is, is I think the key. Obviously, sure. helping someone to get their computer working, but if you could help everybody, um, yeah. is it? Do they all automatically just record to YouTube like you do with Hangouts, or do you have no. to explicitly? No, you have you have to specifically say I would like to record this, and I think the other person says they would like to record. Okay, as well. right, right, just like just like Hangouts. Okay. Yeah, you you you, you can't just. Just start recording without telling yeah. I think that's actually. Hi everybody, you're on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. That 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 pretty much. Um, that pretty much answers everything. Yeah. I, I appreciate I you that... coming on last minute when I asked you. Asked yeah. you to come on. I think it's something we should definitely keep an eye out on. Um, sure. Sure. I mean, I'm happy to just kind of talk about any updates in the next UDS. Um, very happy to do that. Um, I just noticed, by the way, that there's a question in the IRC channel. Um, oh, oh, if you have any um, invites available, the invites, it's not a system like they like did with Wave and Google Plus and all of this where someone has a bunch of invites and you hand them out. You have to go across the Google uh, Help Out and you have to request your invite. Oh. Um, and I think you have to specify in the invitation process um, what kind of thing you're going to be doing. It's, it seems like they're keeping, they're keeping it yeah. annoying to you know enough so that they're not flooded with. Exactly. Yeah. I think they also are trying to stop there being too many tech helpouts, than you know compared to other kinds of helpouts that you can do as well. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, this is the sort of thing that lends itself that that the first ninety percent will be computer related stuff, and I'm sure. Sure. I, I I can't imagine anyone else wanting to do it. <laughs> Well, I'm looking at a guitar one right now, um, which I yeah. think might lend itself well. Um, but there's lots of different kinds. There's, I mean, the ad, the advert was do yoga with someone, which I can't imagine that working. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I I see the cooking ones would work. I think if you have a tablet in your kitchen. Other than yeah. that, I don't I don't see. Uh, well, the, the the great thing about this was is that because it was based on uh, Hangouts. And Google had already put in the, the work for Hangouts in Linux already. Right. From day one, I, ha I haven't had any problems at all getting this running. I just went, okay, I'm just going to log in. Oh, look, it's working. Yeah, that's really excellent. Yeah, and and I hope hopefully if um, some users try it as well, they won't have as many problems either. They'll just kind of go, oh, I need some help. Try and load up help out. Oh, it's already working. That's excellent. Yeah, okay. Because it does download the dev automatically in. Does it through Software Center? Yeah, it's pretty slick. The, the user yeah. they did a really good job. Of very good job, yeah. Everything. So. Yeah, very nice tool. I've been having fun. I don't, I don't really know what much else there is to say about it. it, it yeah, I think we're pretty much done. We got an extra <laughs> 20 minutes out till the next session. Um, I went ahead and linked this video in the summit, and then okay. I, put it, I, I put it in the discourse thread. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, just keep us up to date. I mean, I wouldn't mind. You know, just when they land new features, if it affects us or, or if it enables more people to help you or, or, you know, anything that affects your ability. Other than that, I think, you know, definitely keep an eye out for us. And then at some point, I think, when they're ready to unleash, turn the hose on, as it were, we'll, we'll yeah. be ready. So. Yeah. It, awesome. it, will be, it will be certainly be very, very good for, for Ubuntu as a whole, I think. Awesome. Bringing the community close together. Great. 
Okay, yeah. and with that, the session's done. I'll see you guys in uh, 20 minutes. It was nice to meet you, and I'll see yeah, you on the next Nice to meet you, too. All right, cheers, man. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.